While birds will use all sorts of different plants in your garden, if you want to give them the maximum help, then stick to the local native plants. Go for a walk in your local national park or bushland reserve to get a feel for the plants that grow locally. And then get along if there is a community nursery or a council nursery that propagates the local plants, that's a great source of material, but also your local garden centre. You can use plants that are not indigenous to your area, but wherever possible, if they're available, they are the best choice because they give the maximum genetic diversity, habitat and food source to encourage a wide range of birds, from the big spectacular parrots down to the little robins and wrens. We want them all in suburbia and in people's backyards. So think local and plant indigenous wherever possible. Banksia ericifolia produces numerous nectar rich flowers which are a rich source of food for honey eating birds of all description from autumn right through winter and into early spring. The beak of the white cheeked honey eater for instance is perfectly adapted to feeding on the rich source of nectar in the flowers and its breeding season is timed to coincide perfectly with peak flowering. And parent birds can feed really efficiently on the nectar, giving them more time to forage for insects for their young. Banksia ericifolia grows well from subtropical to temperate regions of coastal Australia, from Queensland right around the coast to Western Australia. So it's one of the best banksias for most gardens in coastal Australia. It forms a well-rounded shrub that you can use as a screen or even a feature plant. When it's in full flower, it is absolutely magnificent. This plant gets full sun for most of the day, but it will tolerate a bit of dappled shade as well. It might just reduce the flowering a bit. Now, it needs fairly well-drained soil like most of the banksias and will tolerate dry conditions but this particular species is adaptable because it can also grow well where there's a bit of extra moisture in the soil. So it's a plant that will also tolerate light frost and it's really good near the coast in salty conditions as well. Under ideal conditions, Banksia ericifolia can grow from four to five metres tall and several metres wide. So it's quite a substantial plant. But if you've got a smaller garden, there's actually a dwarf cultivar called Little Eric, and it only grows to about 1.5 to 2 metres tall by less than a metre wide. So it's perfect for bringing those beautiful little honey-eating birds right into a courtyard garden in suburbia. Banksia ericifolia, like other banksias, is prone to iron deficiency which shows up as yellowing on the new foliage growth. To overcome this, you can use either iron chelates or sulphate of iron, and always use a low phosphorus fertiliser such as osmocote or nutricote for native plants. It's also good practice to apply a liquid seaweed emulsion like sea salt, especially after you've just planted. This helps the banksia to strengthen its root system and fortifies it against the stresses of hot and dry summer days, as well as pest attacks. With all of these additives, make sure you follow the manufacturer's directions. As far as pruning goes, when the plants are young, it's really important to tip prune them, which means just getting your finger and thumb and pinching out those growing tips, which will make the plant bush out, which creates really nice, dense habitat for those small honey-eating birds. As the plant grows and gets taller, if they start to get a bit leggy, a good rule of thumb is not to prune back into anything thicker than that. So I'm going to take out a couple of these big long shoots. And that will also keep the plant nice and dense for those little honey-eating birds. The final thing is to remove the old flower heads at the beginning of spring, which is just a little snip there 
and the job's right. Banksias like the Ericofolia make a wonderful addition to any garden. They provide a fabulous source of food for a diverse range of birds. From the nectar feeding birds such as spinebills and honey eaters to the little insect eaters like the superb fairy wren and then the seed eating birds like those big spectacular parrots and cockatoos. They just love getting their beaks around these seed cones and that's a joy to watch in any garden. Now, Ericofolia is indigenous to the Sydney region and the central coastal areas of New South Wales. But if you're in another state, go out and seek out your local banksias. So if you're up in Queensland, for instance, there's the fabulous Hinchinbrook Island banksia. Banksia plagiocarpa. It's really important to remember that creating a bird friendly garden involves more than just putting in one or two bird attracting plants such as banksias or grevilleas. If you want to really provide the sort of habitat that the birds enjoy in the wild, you need to create layers from the ground covering small plants such as this dwarf kangaroo grass, which the smaller birds will come and feed on the seeds to grassy sort of plants like this lamandra, which has really dense cover, which not only provides food, but more importantly, shelter as well for those small birds. And then we step up to dwarf, medium and taller shrubs, things like kunzias, melaleucas and tea trees, really to provide all those different levels and then up to your trees, you're giving the birds a really complete habitat. Another important point is to use multiple plantings because again, that's what they'll experience in the bush. So I've got a whole bank of bottle brush behind me and that amplifies the amount of food for the birds that use those particular species. So remember, if you really want to create the complete bird garden, you need to research it properly so why not go to the Creating Places section of the Birds in Backyards website. That way you'll create a garden that not only the birds will be happy to flock to and live in, but it'll also be a place where you can stay and observe them and experience the magic that birds bring to the garden. <laughs>